Welcome it. to the Hey Show. We're just going right into it. All right, welcome to the Hey, hey. <laughs> Show, the premier YouTube show about grappling and MMA, uh, where we are amateurs and we talk about mainly professionals, right? Correct. And something like that. We have a very special Hey Show today. Oh, we, have, we have a Hey Party. We have two. Hey, Whose game's like first? I think, pretty, I think it's pretty. Anyways, um, we have day. two quiz shows today. Uh, one by Brandon and one by Ronnie. We're going to do Brandon's first. And then we also have fake ads to get to where Michael and Ronnie both have one. So Ooh. pretty exciting. All right, you guys Brandon. Today? I fun. hope so. Let's go ahead and go, Brandon. Oh, All right, go, fellas. Man. Are you ready? All right, so. Part on, part on. For our viewers at home, our listeners at home, uh, we've gone ahead and said pretty much this is basically what goes on each time. One of us wins the quiz show, and Chad loses. That's pretty much how it goes. So today we have a we have a we have a poo poo platter today though. We have Jeopardy. This is this is exciting. That's the nicest way of saying it. (laughs) What? Did, Hello. Why would Chuck Norris be Zen? <laughs> he's the Zen. <laughs> he is the most Zen. Yeah. He's got his own Did you line. know that he's he's bought into the Chuck Norris jokes so now he's like on TikTok and he just does Chuck Norris jokes as Chuck Norris? I've heard that. Yeah. It's it it's the best thing ever. I mean <laughs> it seems like he wouldn't get that or no, he would he, be really offended. I by would thought I thought so, but when he was on Dodgeball and he was like oh, Chuck Norris is here. And he's like, no, thank you, Peter. I was like, okay, so he gets that. He gets he's a joke, but he's he's in on it. So I mean, now he's it's fun. Too, though. He was I like know. a national kickboxing champion or something, I think. He was, um, yeah, because he's in uh, one of the um, Bruce Lee movies, right? He's yeah, like the, the first bad guy, yeah, or whatever. On the yeah. stairwell there, yeah, it's a really good one, too. Well, all right. Are you fellas ready? Ready. Game of Death's the best, though, right? We How do we want to buzz in? Game of Death's the best. Yeah, so we don't have buzzers, obviously. You guys just kind of raise your hands. Ready. All right. So the categories we have today are... Got 80s movies, Danaherism, where I will give you the John Danaher term, and you will need to give me the correct English translation. We also have Journey of the Fellowship, a favorite of mine, where it's just Lord of the Rings-based questions. Potpourri, which is a classic Jeopardy category, and ADCC records. All right, so let's do a little rock, paper, scissors off to see who goes first here. Or you guys can just pick amongst you, whatever you'd like. Actually, let's make this meme. Okay. Chad gets to go first because he's the perpetual loser. I'm good. There we go. Right. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> so pick just it. so you know, there are no daily doubles. Okay. And there oh. is no final Jeopardy. Oh. All right. Did you just find a website to do this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. That's Where did you this make is like, this? This, this is, is shit. This is I like did his... not code this myself. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, Chad. Yeah, between Michael doing that one Fast and Furious segment and this, you guys are good at this shit. What My, category would you I, like first, Chad? Real quick, for the viewers at home, mine was made from Dollar Tree material, and <laughs> Brandon brought in a TV. But yes. I'm trying to get it on screen here. So this is tough. See it's, it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, all right. I'm going to take Danerisms for 100. Oh, All right. Oh, fuck. Ronnie's going to kill this. Remember, you have to raise your hand here to buzz in. And incorrect answers will uh, lose you points. All right. Mm. Danerisms for 100. Jujigatami. <laughs> That's an arm bar. That is correct. God oh. damn. <laughs> God What oh, is the arm Sorry. Bar? Remember, I did. You have okay. to answer in the form of a question. Gotcha. My bad. That, I, yeah, that's Ronnie is team one, then. Wow. All right. Uh, that was quick. I know. I know my shit. Ronnie, no, what no, would you like no. next? Let's go, let's stay with Dinerisms for 200. He's going to kill these, I have no clue. Dinerisms for 200. No I'm the only person that's close to being I, Japanese. I didn't think too, it would go like that. I don't know so. any of that, yeah. Senkaku. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a triangle. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> what is the triangle? God oh, damn it. What is a triangle? All right. <laughs> Technically, he's losing by two. All right, all right, all right. I'll get better. Dang. All right. I'm just so excited. Uh, let's uh, keep going. 300. Donorisms for 300. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. Sumigeshi. Mm. Uh, Michael. What is Scarfold? Mm, incorrect. God damn it. I guess Scarfold. What is... Oh, I know it's a type of throw. Or... <laughs> 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 
It's a sweep. Uh, butterfly sweep? Ooh, that is correct. Oh! Good. Well done. What is a butterfly sweep? All right, Ronnie maintains control. Um, let's go 400. All right, Donald has us for 400. The Ashigarami. I've actually heard I, that one. Right. <laughs> uh, that, uh, what is leg entanglement? That is correct. What is the entangled leg lock or a single X? I was going to say, what is a single, single X? X yeah. Single X would have been better, but you weren't quick enough. Nice. <laughs> Ronnie with a commanding lead still has control. Um, let's finish it out. Donnerhisms for 500. Kuzushi. Uh-oh. I hit my wall. Not beneficial for me to guess either. So, does he have to guess though? No. no. Oh. I'm counting in my head now. I ain't got nothing. I don't even want to try. If you guess, you lose five hundred. Yeah, you yeah. lose. So that's why. Yeah. I forgot that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> what is to off balance your opponent? No. Oh. Let me go with that. Very good though. Very good. All right. Ronnie maintains control. Um. Let's go with um. Potpourri for 100. Potpourri for 100. A classic Jeopardy category of just a grab bag of different knowledge. Here we go. He's the best. Who is the author of the fantasy series A Song of Ice and Fire? Michael. What is George R. Martin? That is correct. She got it. Who oh is, but I will accept it. Oh. You said what is. Who is? Jesus yeah. Christ. All right. Yeah, at this point, he is just like a thing. Now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He is a what is. <laughs> Uh, let's go 80s movie for 100. 80s movies for 100. A favorite category of mine as well. All right. In the movie E.T. the Extraterrestrial, what is the name of the young boy who befriends the alien? Michael. What is it? Who is a Elliot? Correct. Nice. I can't see that yeah. part, though, so I gotta scoot over. Yeah, it's hard to see the TV. Now I'm getting into it. No, I can see it now. I no, I'm clear. No, I'm clear now. now. Yep. No, as long it's as you that over. you got to move out of the way. Oh, really. okay. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good whenever you move there. I'm right. doing really good at this, Brandon. This is Michael right maintains control. Who's uh, 80s too. 80s for two. This is where I come back. <laughs> this 1984 comedy film features a character by the name of Dr. What Peter Bengley. Michael. What is Ghostbusters? That is correct. I was there. You just beat me by a little bit. Right. Once I heard so this is Ronnie versus Michael. This is what this is. Well, if you get off your phone, damn yeah, it. I don't, I don't even know any of these. <laughs> so I'm just recording this, and I'm in just in awe. Michael. Three. Uh, 80s. 80s movies yeah. for three. I'm not a good Jeopardy. In the movie The Breakfast Club, a group of high school students from different social cliques spend a day together in what setting? What Ronnie. is detention? That is correct. All right, if I got that one wrong, kill me. <laughs> kill me. What I, is detention or the school library? I might have seen that movie one time. Mike only got one right? I well, he had, he's got uh, one wrong. He had negatives. Oh. All right, Ronnie. Um, let's go um, Let's go back to Potpourri for 200. Potpourri for 200. Who painted the iconic artwork, The Starry Night? Shh. Um, who is Van Gogh? That is correct. God. Bam. Ronnie Boom. maintains control. I'm going, lowest score wins, right? <laughs> yep. It's like golf. So you need to start answering things wrong. <laughs> Get those negatives. Yeah. <laughs> no, you need to. Let's go potpourri for 300. All right. What is the chemical symbol for the element gold on the periodic table? Ron. What is AU? That is correct. I'm not confident <laughs> in these. I, I've had both of those, and I did not raise my hand. Ron, still. Yeah. Ronnie. Um, let's go Potpourri for four. All right. Man. Who is the author of the famous novel To Kill a Mockingbird? Who is T.S. Eliot? That is incorrect. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs> He's gonna jump out of your skin. I mean, I've read the book, what but the I don't know the really? author. What the, I've never actually what the read fuck it. is her name? We had to read it for school. Yeah. I don't even really know what it's about. <laughs> it's like, I think I remember it's. I don't know. Is it like it's, a slavery thing? It's setting. It's kind of set back uh, in that so time. A black man is on trial for a crime he didn't commit. Okay. Yeah. I don't know the name of the person. It's a woman. She only wrote two books. The correct answer is Harper oh, wow. Lee. Harper Lee. Okay. Yeah. I actually was going to guess T.S. Ronnie maintains control here. Um, let's finish out Popery. I really need 
finishing the category really for 500. <laughs> what is the capital city of Australia? No, I'll fuck this up every time. Um, oh, no. Yeah, I'll mess this one up. I'll, I'll get it wrong. It's always the place I'm, I don't think it is. Son of a bitch, I'm still going to guess. Michael? What is Sydney? Incorrect. Fuck. I was going to guess that too, so I'm glad that I didn't. Chad is officially <laughs> not losing. I knew I'd make it. <laughs> I knew if I just Your shut up long enough off. that I would start to come in second. Go. No, I ain't got it. What is Canberra? What I was going to say that. Yeah, that was a surprise to me as well, guys. All right. <laughs> I think it's Ronnie still. Um, let's go um, ADCC for 100. All right. ADCC records for 100. The record for the most wins in ADCC history belongs to this competitor, Chad Hawkins. Gordon Ryan. Incorrect. <laughs> I lose, do I? Oh, okay, I do lose points. Um, I was like, man, I don't, wanna, I don't want to lose points. I'm going to try. Um, um, who is uh, Marcel Garcia? Incorrect. <sighs> who the fuck is this? Can I keep guessing? <laughs> Michael? Who is Andre Gavea? That is correct. Woo. You know what's weird is I kind of felt that, but... I just remember they make such yeah. a big deal. He's like the goat and stuff. Yeah. I was like, well, maybe he has that record. I don't All know. Right. That's where I'm at. Michael has control of the board. Get me the hell away from ADCC <laughs> records. 80s movies, 400. <laughs> All right. This 1985 film directed by Steven Spielberg revolves around... Michael? What is The Goonies? That is correct. Oh, I actually knew that one. Michael's not negative anymore. No. Yeah, no. I would, I would die if I like this game being a negative. 500. <laughs> 80s, 80s movies. movies for 500, closing this out the my categories. Comeback. This is my comeback. In the 1982 sci-fi film Blade Runner, Harrison Ford portrays a detective tasked with hunting down and eliminating rogue replicants. What is the name of this character in the film? I just watch this fucking movie. Classic film. Still holds up today, I think. What, what is the name of the... No, his character. <laughs> Decker. Decker. God! Mm. Michael maintains control of the board. Journey of the Fellowship for 100. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite category. At the Council of Elrond, this member of the Fellowship offers to take the ring to Mordor. Michael. What is Frodo? Who, Who is, is Frodo? Frodo? Correct. Nice. This is where you make your comeback. I know, I'm hoping. <laughs> Michael, what category would you like next? Journey of the Fellowship for two. For 200. The Fellowship embarks on a quest to destroy the One Ring. Which mountain do they aim to take the ring to? Michael? What is Mount Doom? That is correct. I mean, I have the cards now, so I mean, like, Magic the <laughs> Gathering cards. Is getting better. All right, Michael, what would you 300 like? Journey. This member of the Fellowship is known by many names, including Mithrandir, Istari, and Stormcrow. Michael? Fred, so good at this. What is Gandalf? That is correct! <laughs> Hot damn! It's, who? it's Tari. That was, who, who is? is? Yeah, I'm bad at that. It's Tari. It's a general term for wizard, actually. That was the only thing I got, yeah. You fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what category would you like next? 400, please, Journey. Pima ADCC. In the Mines of Moria, the Fellowship encounters a riddle written on a door that guards the way. The riddle asks for the password to enter. What is the password that Gandalf? What is friendship? That is incorrect. Go! Well, I'm glad you got that wrong. <laughs> uh, where is what is the password that Gandalf speaks to open the door? Chad's strategy is almost about to pay off again. I'm so angry. What is it? I know. I, I mean, I remember the moment, but I don't remember the wording. Beep, beep, beep. What is friend? Mm, we got you there. Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah, which is the Elvish What'd word you say? For friendship. friendship. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I figured it's that, so. It's very pretty close. close. You probably Journey of the Fellowship. Place. Good. I, I got this you. one. I'm good. I got this one. 
Upon reaching the borders of the land of Lothlorien, the Fellowship is welcomed by its rulers, Galadriel and Celeborn. Galadriel presents gifts to each member of the Fellowship. What gift does she give to Frodo? Specifically, oh, 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 to, oh, oh. this is specifically to Frodo, not the gift that she gives to every member of the Fellowship. If I name the item, does that count, or do I have to name like the like fancy name or some shit? Okay, uh, all right. I'll make a fair ruling. I can't get this one wrong though, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. No, never mind. I don't know. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. What is the file of Caladrio? I knew it was a bottle. bottle filled with the last light of Arendiel Stone. I thought fucking he gave it to the other one. I knew he got a bottle of something. It's the light, the right? Whenever the spider. Man, that sucks. I thought they gave that to that other, right. the other, the I other know. Hobbit. Man, all right. Uh, ADCC records for five. For five, all Ooh, right. Swinging. These two ADCC veterans are not only not only share a record of four-time winners of their respective weight class, but also a last name. Holy shit. Uh, can't go there. I really regret not including a final Jeopardy question, though. Uh, and I thought someone would get this one. Is it a Gracie? Anyone guesses? I can't name the other Gracie. That's the only problem. Yeah, no. It is not a Gracie. Uh, no. No, that's, that's what I was thinking about that. No, I don't know. Anyone? No? Mm -hmm. I was going to get, can I get, uh, now that it's over, was it, was it Marcello? That is correct. It is Marcel Garcia and Gabriel Gabby oh, Garcia. Gabby Garcia. God damn son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That was a great question. I could not one. think of a Garcia. That was a great question. That was. <laughs> great job. Damn. Because I was going to go a Brayu, but I was like, Brayu. I was thinking of yeah. Brayu, but Car Four wins Marcelo. Yeah, Marcelo was the. Uh, right. Very. That was good. That was a good one. That was an excellent. 400, please. For 400. He burst onto ADCC in 2009, subbing everyone up to the finals where he would beat the legendary Cobrina. He was the youngest at 19 years of age to champion in ADCC. Chad Hawkins? Uh, Hoffa Mendes. That is incorrect, I believe. I believe. I, believe. I don't remember now, but I believe um, that's incorrect. Okay, so he burst onto the scene in 2009. Who's the youngest? Kira Gracie was 19 when she won. Man. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, I know. Who is Hoffa Mendez? So Chad was correct. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> good job. That good was job. Good job. <laughs> I can't remember that how great. <laughs> great. All right, Chad. Chad is the win. Chad did win. You're tied with Michael now. This is there a Hey, guess what? Oh, I'm up. I can't lose. No. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, shit. A ADCC for 200, I guess. All right. <laughs> I hate Samwise Gamgee now. <laughs> this is the only person in ADCC history to double gold with 100% submission rate. His historic run through the 2005 ADCC championship is one of the best in history. Chad. Who is Andre Gavalo? No, not for submission rate. I don't remember this one's name either, but I know it's not that. 2005. I didn't know any of these people, actually. I didn't know who Hoffa Mendez was. Well, that was going to ruin my guess right so. there, because I was going to guess Damien Lyons. So, no, I'm not guessing anything now. Mm. Yeah, beep, no. beep, beep. Who is Hoffa you know, I, uh, I actually oh, thought of him as my first, but I was like, I can't Submit. remember. The submission rate's the key All there. All right, and their final category, our clue today. In a four-time ADCC champion who has won the minus 99 kilogram division twice, the absolute division, and a super fight, who was undefeated in... Shit, Chad you got me. Who's yeah. Gordon Ryan? Yeah, that's Gordon Ryan. Oh. It was Ricardo Arana. Oh, yeah. Man, no one's going to guess that, so nope. we're good. We're not against it. We're I got second. Anyway. I got second, though, so that's good. I'm going to take my victory. Man, that, the damn That concludes our game of Jeopardy, guys. That was well done. That, that was, was so fun. So Ronnie's good. our champion. Dude, yeah, we need to course. do that for a live show.
That the crowd, man. was so oh, good. Oh, it's so good. Those questions How long that were take great. You? Like an afternoon. Remember that time you were asking me to come film? Yeah. Yeah, like that afternoon. Hmm. That was, was like my, that was like that tournament I did. Remember when like I researched everyone? That took like an afternoon. That's yeah. like the most time I give this. <laughs> Good job. Right. Yeah, excellent job, job, man. That's great. All right. Gosh, yeah, you yeah, that that. killed it, man. Every time, that was amazing. <laughs> All right. Um, so good. What what's our timestamp, Chad? We're at twenty minutes. Okay, I got to get out of here because I'm going down for Sun Yun. So. Uh, Ronnie, you want to do quiz show and ask okay. cancel fake ads or that's fine. That do we want to do fake ads? <laughs> Those are a pressure cooker. I feel like every time. All right, let's do our let's do Ronnie's quiz show. All right. Okay. okay. I hate to I hate to not do those because we prepare. Yeah, that's all right. I got a, I got a couple things if we need to fill anything. But all right, so we're gonna do the quiz show today. Our topic is guitars. Mm. Does anyone here play the guitar? You do play the guitar. I knew Brandon would. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, this will be fun. So Brandon does everything somehow. <laughs> I don't even... Dude, if uh, I had, like... I don't understand how people say they get bored. Like, if I had three other lifetimes, I'd learn so many other cool things. You're like the vampire from Twitter, or from Twilight. Yeah, you know, <laughs> from Twitter? Yeah, the vampire from Elon Twitter. Elon Musk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was my joke. <laughs> oh, I tried to get it out. Well done. You're like okay. the know-it-all. So, uh, I'm doing these in the same as I always do them. I'm going to read you a statement. That statement is incorrect. You have to tell me what's incorrect and how to correct it. On guitars. On guitars. Wow. Um, Might as well this. just sit here. Um, there are two <laughs> There are two questions that are not that way. I have two interactive questions. Where one, where everyone's going to get a paper and do a little test here. So, this will be fun. So, question number one. Uh-oh. Is it math? <laughs> There are many different parts of the guitar. Some of those parts that make up the structure of the guitar are the body, neck, chord spacers, and the head. Yes. The chord spacers is incorrect. What is it actually? A fret. Nailed it. <laughs> Brandon, this is, a, this is a bad start. This is going to be Brandon answering questions about guitars. <laughs> it's, it's like a dream. All right. Um, what was that thing called? A fret? A it's fret. A fret. Don't fret about that's it. That's the little metal bar that's in between yeah. each of the... That was the only thing I know about a guitar because when you hit somebody in the, over the head and wrestling with a guitar, you have to remove that. The frets? That's, yeah. that's all I know. Wow. There you go. Number two. The fret clamp is a device that guitarists use so they can change the pitch of their instrument without having to... Yes. It's not a fret clamp. But it does do the same job, but it's called a capo. Damn, he's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is better. This is so much better. <laughs> Just so there's some more information on here. Um, the uh, first patented one was designed in Connecticut in 1850. There you go. Incorrect. <laughs> it's a weird spelled word, too, right? It looks like capo or something, right? Yeah, it's, right? it's uh, C-A-P-O. Yeah. yeah. Capo. Capo. Um, all right, number three. Uh, someone that makes guitars is called a guitar smith. One of the most famous American ones was Les Paul. Yes. They're not called a guitarist. I believe they're called a luthier. God damn it. <laughs> that is exactly right. <laughs> You're doing great, Brandon. I, 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 I would have <laughs> got that first part out, but the second part, there's no way. All right. For this next part, each of you is going to get these. These are guitars, and you must match the guitar to the famous oh, guitarist. Yeah, I, I have two pins, <laughs> so you'll have to it. share pins, but each one of you will get one of these. I'm not going to copy out for Brandon. Chad, I'm going to steal your pin because you yeah. probably won't need it. So this is going to be like school all over again where I just fucking guess on my answers. <laughs> oh, this is going to be some racism stuff too, isn't it? Because I'm going to assume that one of the guitars is for somebody who looks like they would have that guitar. That's the idea. Oh, that is tricky. <laughs> tricky. Done. Okay. It's gonna be funny if me and Chad like did the same structure. We're off to a bad start if me and Chad are gonna do the same structure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got it right. I think it went the exact opposite. Okay. Uh, you fill that right. out really weird. That, <laughs> All right, never so fill out like that. we're gonna go um, person by person. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I just turned live. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hand the or bring this up to the camera. So this is Chad's. I'm gonna be so mad if 
if two is Willie Nelson. You can't. I'm going to be you so can't really, mad. Yeah, kind of. No, you got to go closer, I think. How's that look? That, that's, there you there go. Let's focus okay. yeah. So here's Chad's. Kay. Chad has gotten Willie. one correct. Oh. Oh, wow. One correct. Damn. Okay, hand me Brandon's. Oh, fuck this if he has every one of those right, because then my Willie Nelson was wrong. Yep, focused. Brandon is 100% correct. Are you shit? You. It's not focused. You didn't you. put that it old did for a second. that yeah. old country guitar to Willie Nelson. I thought that was the trick. No, I bet. The Son trick. of a guy. In my mind, the Which trick one am I right on? For George Harrison. I've lost all of them, man. There's no That's way. I just thought you were trying to trick me. <laughs> That's Chuck I didn't Perry. get any right. That's the Beatles. George Zero Harrison. right, That's yes. <laughs> so, so I got George Nelson's right as the only one? You got Willie Nelson as the only one you got right. Really? Yeah. I thought that was low. The, which one's I this? So, one? for you guys to see, Harrison. guitar yeah, number right. one. I got George Harrison right. No, uh, guitar number one goes to Chuck Berry. Yeah, but he's got four drew to George Harrison here. Yeah. He's just a bad artist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, you got, so you had two right. My, my mistake, you had Sweet. two right. Way better. <laughs> you are, man. Can I have 50 one of those pins back? What did, how many Michael get? I got zero. zero. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, I, tr I, tr I thought he was trying to trick me. Great. Well, I just knew Kurt Cobain's a left-handed guitarist, so you can tell that this one is so good. And he's actually, he actually plays right-handed guitars. He strings them backwards, even. So. I should have asked... Beforehand, <laughs> Brandon knew about guitars. No, this makes this it is better. A this is a bloodbath. Right, Sorry, guys. All right. <clears throat> Question number five. Back to the normal structure. Uh, tell me what is wrong with this. One of the best guitarists and also uh, one of the artists that played at Woodstock, Carlos Santana, was not only known for his abilities, um, but also through his showmanship. Uh, he broke his guitar and then lit it on fire. Uh, Go ahead, Michael. No, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> go ahead, Michael. Go. It wasn't uh, the guy, whatever his Carlos Santana. That is correct. Can you tell me who it was? No, that's the problem. That's the problem I'm gonna have. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna guess Jimi Hendrix. That, that is, is correct. correct. Yes, Michael <laughs> got one. That's all that matters. I beat Chad. <laughs> Brendan beat me on the hand raises. So whatever. <laughs> all right. Um, Herman Lee of the band Dragon Farce uh, won best solo uh, for the song Through the Fire and Flames in 2007. The song is probably best known as one of the hardest songs to do on Guitar Hero. So, yeah. <laughs> Brandon all of it. He's the band's you guys name isn't Dragon Farce, it's Dragon Force. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> That's hurtful. <laughs> all right. He hasn't uh, answered any questions, though, that make me question. Right. Like, why do you know that? So far, uh, they're he, all... He came up with Ludier. Okay, that I had to search that. Out. I mean, well, I could get that one a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you, know, you know guitars. You want to know who's working on guitars. All right. Number seven. Um, as of this current year, Fender is the best-selling guitar brand, holding a 34% um, uh, selling of the mar entire market. This is where, where playing it doesn't. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to guess the percent's wrong. Nope, the percent is correct. Okay, shit. Okay, well then. <laughs> they're not the leading guitarist selling. <laughs> you got to raise your hand. Go you ahead. Raise your hand. Okay. Well, I'm just guessing. Okay. Is that it? Is that your guess? My guess is it's it's not that company that's the leading. But, yeah. And what company? It's a different company. company. What company? I don't even know fucking guitars. <laughs> so. He actually already <laughs> mentioned the company once earlier in a yeah. previous question. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't name another company either. That's the. Problem. I said Fender. You're saying Fender is wrong. That is correct. Unless someone can tell me what company is the holder. I'm sure Brandon can. <laughs> yes, Brandon. Is it Gibson? It is Gibson. I knew it. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right. Being able to read music is a great start in being able to play guitar. However, guitar players have a different way of writing and reading their music called fretting. It is like shorthand uh, for guitarists because it matches up the strings and frets showing you how to hold your fingers. What's the answer, Brandon? Bueller? Anyone? Michael. No, I'm not guessing. Oh, you're oh, allowed to pass. No, I mean, pass. Okay. It's not called... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called... What did you call it? Fretting? <laughs> <laughs> correct. It's not called fretting. It's yeah. called tabulature. That is tabs. correct. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
All right. I understand why you're missing out on getting your gym lately. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, more terms to know when reading tablature is uh, hammer-ons and pull-outs. Normally used more in electric guitars. It's a method to quickly switch notes without needing to strum. What's now, the now I'm finding this insulting. He's laughing yes. at the question. <laughs> He's he giving you guys yes. funny phrasing. It was funny <laughs> that. phrasing. That was purely to see if someone would giggle at that. So thank you for being I, a 12-year-old. Did you know that he was in guitars? No. No idea. Really? No idea. No. Anyone? No. Okay. What is it, Brandon? <laughs> so, <laughs> can I hear it one more time, please? <laughs> um, hammer-ons and pull-outs, I pull believe. Pull-outs, yes. Yeah, hammer-ons so. and pull-outs. It's actually hammer-ons and pull-offs. Pull-offs is correct. When you pull out, it's a completely different <laughs> Pulling activity. Pulling out is something completely different. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what is that activity? So the last I'm question... i to explain it. The last question is going to be our Price is Right game. I'm going to give you this. You're going to have to give me the number without going over. So each one of you will get a guess, and then we'll see who's the closest. So we'll go... It'll be... Um, It'll be Brandon, and then Mike, and then Chad. All right. So uh, the question is, how the number of USA guitar, guitar brands as of 2023? USA-specific guitar mm -hmm. brands. Yeah. Do you have to name the brands? Nope. Just oh, give me a number. Grab how it. many of them there are. Yeah. It'll go Brandon, then Mike, then you. Okay. Let's see. I think Chad has it, too. I really don't know. I'm going to say six. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a smart move. The price is right better. Yeah, no, do we bet a Chad, number? you know the move to make you know, now. You just said oh, now. You just said <laughs> what number you think. I'm gonna there's only seven. two. Yeah, I was oh, say, there's, Chad. There's only two. Actually, him going over yeah, that yours is actually yeah, that's, not that's bad. Not yeah. um, Chad is going to win, and you guys are going to be shocked. I there is 190 yeah. different okay. guitar, uh, USA I guitar. I right. won! You got, <laughs> <laughs> fuck all you, I'm out. It, it's sad because we tied. I knew me, guitars. Me and Chad tied, tied so that's sad. One. Yeah. <laughs> I knew guitars, Whew. I was just playing. Sorry, that guys. was a spanking. Yeah, that, that was, was well sorry. done. Sorry. I thought, sorry about it, guys. What the fuck's wrong with we you? Need, like, we need one of <laughs> you to make amazing. a pro wrestling one so I can win everything. <laughs> that's, not, that's not fun. I didn't like Next time, I'm going to diversify the categories on Jeopardy a little. We might do a double Jeopardy, oh, a final Jeopardy good. next time. Yeah, you do great on that. Too, yeah. So. Are we going to rock fun out to watch. more after this? Uh, it's been fun got, watching all you guys know all your shit. We actually... Are you gonna, what if I had a Fast and the Furious? Let's category? have a pre. Let's do a thing right now. Are you no, gonna split that one in two? I'm not really good at remembering two? facts. Are you gonna Are you gonna split that one in two? Um, I don't know. I'd have to look to see how I can break it. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> we can. Uh, we technically need to do two more. Okay. Um, I have exactly fifty minutes to do two more. Okay. So what do you want to do? And this one? We well, we're gonna end this one for sure. Like right now, do I click in? You can. We're producing. But we're going to do things. some on-air producing. So should we do the fake ads? Some people like that. And split it, or what do you think? Well, this one won't be long enough to split, will it? This one won't. No. I'm okay with leaving the fake ads till next time, but. What? Free cats? Yeah. I have a. Yeah, I have cats. another game one too. That's not as. Um, I love the game ones. I got. I got let's, another. Let's one do the game one. Let's do the. Let's do the bracket next. Okay. Brandon and then really live it up after that show. Then do <laughs> fake ads or how good your BS, like whichever one you want. Mm -hmm. Or is that the one you changed? I changed it, yeah. Shit. Let's do the one you changed to the, the second episode. Let's just bang out more two. Okay. Court. I only got like six of those. Peace so out. It won't yeah, be wrap it up. Cat right. penis. <laughs>